the independent states the country that declared its independence in 1776, where immigrants arrived from an oppressive ruler, where Europeans fought for their freedom, religious, economic, and otherwise, where they were determined to fight for what they believed was a human right. To this day, many families arrive to this country to pursue the same hope and dream, to create a better life for their families, where they seek asylum from an oppressive situation in hopes for religious, economic, and other variant types of freedom, where they aim to create a better life, to follow and pursue the American dream, where children are also unfortunately separated from their parents, and as disgusting as it sounds, have to represent themselves in immigration court, in most cases without a lawyer. This horrific practice is from the same country that sought out to pursue the same goal in 1776. This fact, as it is appalling, is unfortunately widely accepted, and not by popular vote, but by popular compliance. Too many people have brushed this under the rug for way too long. As a child of immigrants, I see where my parents came to this country. The opportunity for a middle class, the opportunity for better and more secure jobs, the opportunity to have an opportunity. But from the blatant respect that this country has displayed to both immigrants and the people of color, I lack a personal respect for the United States government. And I hold a certain level of resentment towards this country. How can you sell a dream for a dollar when the majority only have 50 cents? How can you hold truths that state that all men are created equal when you firmly believe that only 11.5% can hold that luxury? Of course that percentage is after you deduct women and carry over those of a lower economic status. How can you? Why would you? How dare you? How dare you put those who built your country on less than a pedestal? How dare you be so ungrateful to the backbone of your country? And how dare you act surprised when your fields are understaffed to produce your precious avocados and oranges? So sorry that your guac may have to go up to four dollars, Becky. <laughs> and your orange juice for your smoothie is out, Karen. Oh my god! How will you ever survive? I mean, at least the jobs they took will get filled immediately right? If this is how it feels to make a country great again, it doesn't feel any more tolerant than it did in the 40s. But that's what you wanted, isn't it? So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, happy 4th of July to those of you who actually celebrate it. Um, unlike most, but like many <laughs> i celebrate june 19th i celebrate juneteenth which is june 19th the day that the slaves were actually free in um the united states um um i know this video is a little bit different for the rest of my content i just had thoughts on it and i just felt like i should wow i'm always a loss for words when i don't have a script um, I just had certain thoughts that I wanted to get out in, in relation to this t topic and this subject. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it, or at least got it. If you didn't and um, you don't actually agree with my viewpoint and my standpoint, go ahead, put it in the comments. I want to have a discussion with you guys. I want to actually talk to you guys about this. This is something that I knew would be controversial, and this is something that I knew that some of my audience might not agree with me on but I want to be able to have that conversation with you guys um all my citations for all of my snarky comments and snarky and sassy remarks are in the bottom so I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there I hope you guys have a great and safe holiday I hope you guys have a safe holiday <laughs> because people are kind of crazy so um I love you guys, stay safe, and take care of yourself.